Hey everyone, I'm out here in the garage today with the Acura RL behind me and that's because the RL is the subject of today's video. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be pulling the stereo and that is because the code that I thought I'd always use for the stereo is no longer working or is not working and it's possible that I'm confusing this car with my Acura Legend so we're going to pull the stereo to take a look at it possibly something malfunctioning with the stereo uh, but uh, we'll go ahead and get on that and get the stereo out of the car. Stay tuned. I recently disconnected the RL's negative battery cable to do some work on it and whenever the negative battery cable is disconnected and reconnected the five digit security code for the stereo has to be entered using the number keys on the front of the stereo. So I have the anti-theft identification card handy and I'm going to attempt to enter the code. If you don't have the security code there should be a sticker on the left side of the glove box that I'll show you how to use later to obtain your security code. This sticker normally has a serial number of the original stereo that came with the car. Alright, so that didn't work. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and pull the stereo and see if it may be defective. To get started, I put the key in the ignition and shifted the car into neutral. Next, I popped the hood and disconnected the negative battery cable. Back inside the car, I grasped the rear of the wood grain trim and carefully pulled up on it. I did the same with the front of the trim, using a little more force and a quicker movement. Next, I disconnected the bulb and white and brown harness connectors from the black bezel. and I disconnected the cigarette lighter. Off camera I unscrewed the shift knob, then there are two 10 millimeter bolts that have to be removed. On either side of the center console there are two fabric cover panels that need to be removed and you'll want to get a firm grasp with two hands so you don't crack those panels. And at this point I knew something was up based on the missing clips on the covers. Once the covers are out of the way there's a dark colored 10 millimeter bolt on either side of the console that needs to be removed. With the center panel now loose, I gently wedged a wide plastic pry tool between the top of the panel and the dashboard to gently pop the clips loose. One thing I wanted to mention here is that before removing the center panel, it's probably a good idea to cover the dash opening and the gear selector panel with painter's tape to protect them from scarring. The last couple things to do here to get the stereo out are to remove the connectors from the back of the stereo and remove the four gold color screws on either side of the stereo. And as I suspected, the serial number on the bottom of the stereo does not match the serial number on the stereo code card in the glove box. Alright, so now that we have our serial number, what we're going to do here is go to this website. It's radio-navicode.acura.com and what you're going to need when you come here, you're going to need to have your VIN and of course the serial number we just captured. And then what you'll do is you'll come over here to Get Codes. Click on that tab. Now, I've already entered this information, so this information is already saved in here in the form of a cookie, so basically all I have to do is just click on this field, select my VIN, and then my zip code. And you don't have to really put real information in here, so I'm just going to put one, two, three, four, five, phone number, 
it's going to choose one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and then an email address. Again, real information is not required. Now, if you do want to have that information sent to you by email, when you get your security code generated, you're going to want to make sure you provide a real email address. So I'm just going to put in here none at none.com. And then you put your serial number here. I'm going to use the one that we just captured right there. And then click on submit. And there is our code right there 56416. Now, what I want to do also is check the security code of our original stereo just to kind of confirm. So what I'm going to do is click on done and basically start the process all over again. So we'll come up here to get codes, put in our VIN, select that, our zip code, phone number, and then our email address, and then our serial number, we'll select that from this list here and click on submit. Once again, this serial number I had already entered earlier. That's why it populated when I clicked on this field and then I was able to select it from a drop down list basically. And then click on submit. And that is our code right there that matches the one that's on the card 15513. So that's pretty much it. I'll put a link in the description below to this website if you don't already have this information and you should be able to find your security code if you need it for your particular stereo all right so i'm going to go ahead and reinstall the stereo and it would definitely make sense to try the stereo code before you fully reinstall the stereo i reinstalled all the connectors on the back of the stereo and secured the stereo to the center panel using the eight gold screws then I clip the center panel back into the dash. I then reinstall the bolts on either side of the panel. Next, I install the two 10 millimeter bolts in the front of the panel. I reinstall the cigarette lighters connector. Then I snap the wood grain trim back into place. Next, I reinstall the black bezel, including the shift panel bulb and the gray and brown connectors. The last thing to do here is just to reinstall the side panel covers. All right, so I believe what happened here is I possibly misplaced the new stereos code and I thought I had always used the original stereos code. So that's what I'm going to assume happened here and no weird stuff has happened. But um, that's pretty much it for this video. So thanks for watching.